Hey, welcome to Super Social Club. I'm Jeremy. Today I have the new Weller Full Proof Ball at 59% ABV. This one happens to be a discount liquor store pick. One of the most anticipated, hyped up bourbon releases of 2019. Will it live up to it? I'll let you know when I nose it, taste it, and give it a mark. All right, Weller Full Proof. So what they've done here is they've taken the ABV down to 57% before barreling it. Then as it ages, the ABV goes back up as the water decreases. Then they bring that back down to 57% ABV before bottling. Michter's does that with a lot of their expressions. Uh, they feel that it gives it a more smooth, rich complexity. Um, we'll see how this one is on the nose. So really nice, bold flavors here. The cherry, the brown sugar, uh, the spiciness, those typical bourbon flavors you get, the caramel, all here, all very nice and rich. Spiciness. It's almost like walking through like a bulk barrel um, spice aisle where you get all those like nice spice coming through. Some berries here, like wild berries. That note is very unique for Weller. I don't pick that up on many other ones, but really nice in here. And like some leather notes. Leather notes that you would get in like a more aged bourbon. Not sure the age on this one. Obviously it's NAS, but it does nose like it's older. Man, that nose is really, really nice. Really, really good. Let's go palette. Brown sugar, caramel, spiciness, all in the palette. Finish, I'd say it's like a medium to kind of short finish. It does kind of just dissipate kind of quickly. Maybe that might be more like just medium finish. Cherry liqueur, uh, bubblegum note that you get on that is really, really good. Really nice fruity, um, sugary bubblegum kind of aspect to it. Um, this whiskey is really, really good. It is really, really nice. Just nice, rich complexity, bold flavors. Um, the ABV, the 57% ABV, you can definitely feel it, not hot at all. It's very nice and rounded, but the flavor aspect, the richness, the boldness, it does come, I feel like that ABV, I mean, it pumps it up uh, big time. Love the nose on this. The nose, the nose on this whiskey is probably one of the best bourbon noses I've uh, smelt in a while. It is really, really good. It's awesome. Awesome whiskey. Um, the hype on this one was like very real. There was lots of people um, giving it big praise. Came out, I think, pretty much the end of summer, like uh, June, July, August, kind of, you started seeing them pop up. Went for big money on the secondary market as soon as they came out. I saw them going for around 600 US dollars. Uh, since then, it's come way, way down. Um, about 325-ish. Is what I'm seeing them go for now. Um, of course, you're gonna see stores put a crazy number on these, like they all like all Weller Weller products. But about 325 a time of recording is what I've seen some go for recently. This one being a store pick, uh, single barrel. So this one um, gonna be a little different, perhaps, than the regular bottling. But um, score eyes for me on this one. I'm going to go 88 and a half out of 100. It is really, really good whiskey. Um, I enjoy it a lot. $50 MSRP US all day long. Not even a question. Uh, if you're lucky enough to win a lottery to have an opportunity to buy this, uh, we're without a doubt, 100% do it. Um, I would pay $50, $50 for this all day long. Um, I won this one in the lottery, so I'm not gonna mark it for value, but 88 and a half out of 100. How does this compare to other Weller products? Let's try it versus the 107 and the William the Rue right now. All right, versus the old Weller Antique. Uh, on the nose with this one, just real quick. I feel like this one, it doesn't have that like wild berry kind of fruit aspect that the Full Proof did. Definitely like a little more on the spice. Um, Definitely more intense spices on this. 
Try pallet. Yeah, so this one, definitely more thin. It's thinner and you feel the ABV more as in it's, you get a little more youthful kind of young uh, alcohol forward note in the 107. Definitely not as rounded, definitely not as uh, complex, not as rich as the full proof. Um, and it definitely drinks younger. This one drinks like it's an older whiskey. You know, I'm not really sure if it's any older than this at all. It might be around the same age, but it definitely drinks like it's way older in my opinion. Uh, let's see versus the uh, the big boy, the William the Rue. All right, this William the Rue Weller is the 2017 version. I did uh, review this one. Yeah, this and this nose is more in line with with this one as far as the intense, rich complexity. Let's go on palate. So the spice on the finish on this is really, really good. The finish on this one is the best, but you know what? I think as far as nosing it, this might have the William the Real beat on the nose. I think I enjoy the nose on this one more than the Weller, the William the Real, but the finish on this one is better for sure. But man, good whiskey. So I reviewed this one. I scored it uh, a 90 out of a hundred. You can check out that review. Uh, prices on these ones now, I think I see them for a 2017 around 800 US dollars ish. Um, some older releases get more, fetch for more money. I think around 800. Um, the 107s, I think around 100 bucks. Of course, you always see stores with crazy numbers like this. Just insane what some stores put these uh, prices on, just to kind of have the bottle on the shelf. You know, they have their, like, trophy bottles just so, like, oh, you know, we have a Weller at the store. And if someone is rich enough and wants to come by and just buy it, then they do. Um, and like I said before, I think 325 ish on these ones. Secondary market on bourbon, obviously everyone knows it's just crazy, crazy money. Not worth any of those prices, in my opinion. But if you're lucky enough to perhaps win one of your local lotteries, local stores, um, you can get one for retail. It's on auto buy, obviously. They increased the prices of these, the newest uh, bottle of the LCBO. It went from like 35 Canadian dollars to what, 60-ish Canadian dollars. And then they just kind of sit on the shelves now. When you're used to paying like a really good price for this bottle, 35 bucks, and then it jumps up almost double. You're kind of just like, yeah. I don't know, they kind of just sit there. I'm not rushing out to buy any 107s. I still have one or two lying around, um, but this, this does live up to the hype, in my opinion. It is a really good bourbon. Um, if you're lucky enough to find a pour, definitely try it out. And uh, let me know what you think. Um, the Weller line, what's your favorite? Do you go with the 107? Is the 12 year old more your jam? Um, I think I scored them pretty close. I think I scored the 12 year old in 86. This came in at 85. Um, so very close, but yeah. Does live up to the hype. I do enjoy it a lot. I do like that bourbon. That would be a great, this would be an amazing everyday sipper. You could buy this for 50 bucks uh, all the time. I mean, you wouldn't have to drink much else. It just does a very, very good job of it. And uh, I think you'll see more of this kind of style of maturation where they lower the entry proof before barreling and then bring it back to original entry proof to bottle it. Because it does, it does make for a really good, nice, rich, smooth, complex whiskey, in my opinion. There you have it. Let me know what you think. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you're new to the channel, subscribe if you want. Lots of awesome stuff coming up as always. And uh, yeah, let me hear your comments down below. Appreciate it as always, guys. Have a good one. Cheers.